Hello everybody, my name is Zach and this is the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I typically do on this channel. Um, this is something that I've never done before um, and it is putting together the sheet yarn holder shelf from Lion Brand Yarn. I saw a couple of people doing this and I thought it was super cute um, and also something that I think will be pretty comical as you all watch me try to put this together. <laughs> um, for everyone's sanity, I'm gonna do a time lapse so it goes pretty quickly because um, I feel like this is gonna take me a while. I know some of you are looking at this and you're like, oh, it's not gonna be that difficult. Um, but if you bought this and you haven't got it yet, I'll give you a quick little tip. This link right here that it says to go to for uh, assembly instructions, it doesn't work. <laughs> I tried to go to it already and so I was a bit disappointed, but I'm gonna go off of the picture. So hopefully this is great. Um, it comes in, I don't know how many pieces. I've got a pile here on the floor. Um, it is cardboard. These are the legs. I will say the legs are pretty sturdy. They're pretty thick, but this is the only part of it that is thick. And I will say, I'm really not one to complain, but I'm a little annoyed that several of the pieces, and again, I know it's cardboard. I understand, um, but several of the pieces are bent um, and I didn't know I guess I didn't expect that to happen because it was coming in a box um, but it looked like some of the pieces were too wide for the box and they just kind of shoved it in there um, let me show you what I mean on some of these so like here here's the largest piece right here I've already taken everything out of the plastic just for the sake of it not being too loud but like, if you notice here, there we go. <laughs> um, right here on this end, you can see that um, it's bent here. And I know I can bend that back into shape, but I guess I'm kind of, um, I don't know, annoyed that there's gonna be like creases and stuff. <laughs> but see like that part and then the tail is creased and you can see that right there. And that's just one of the pieces, but, um, Literally almost every piece that I'm looking at has different edges where it's bent. And so that's kind of a bummer, but also it's cardboard. I still think it's gonna be super cute and I'm really excited to get started. So without further ado, watch me embarrass myself. <laughs> Okay guys, <laughs> so as you just saw, this was a little bit more, I don't wanna say more difficult than I thought it was gonna be because I thought it was gonna be difficult for me anyway. I'm not saying it's gonna be difficult for everybody. You can see how large this is. It's actually really cool. Um, so this is pretty neat. I'm gonna use this for yarn. Of course you could use this for anything. I'm gonna scoot back so you can kind of see the whole thing. Um, I'm still, I'm not really sure on the dimensions. Uh, whenever you look on the website, it just has like the specs for the yarn. Um, but <clears throat> this was really neat. Um, I will say, since it is cardboard, it's very lightweight. So it was hard, as you could see in parts of the video, for me to kind of push certain pieces in because there's not really a lot to like hold on to for leverage unless you're going to like bend it. And I really didn't want to do that. And so I was trying my best to be gentle, um, but make sure I was still able to put it together properly. But I think it turned out so cute. I'm gonna post a link in the description so you guys can check it out and maybe purchase one of your own. This is only $20 on the Lion Brand website, or you can purchase it completely full of yarn. I think it's something like 90 skeins. That's quite a bit more naturally because it comes with all of the yarn. 
but I hope that you guys check it out. I hope y'all liked this video. Like I said, it was something different that I don't ever do on my channel. Um, and I can't wait to put this somewhere in my craft room. Um, <laughs> it's pretty full now, but I will find a place for it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.